Here, we will show how to get into and activate a Tesla Model 3 with what would be a dead mobile phone. Unlike the Models S and X, which both have a key fob available, for the Model 3, Tesla makes exclusive use of a mobile app to open and start the car with the use of a key card as backup. While the battery in a key fob will be used up in about 12 months, the battery in a cell phone can be drained in a day or less, so it is vital to keep the key card in your wallet or bag or anywhere handy at all times. We have yet to get our hands on a Model 3 and expect it will be some time before we do. So the material in this video comes courtesy of Trevor and Ken from the Model 3 Owners Club and you can find them at the address shown below. Their video is a great one hour plus review of the Model 3 that you can find at this address also below. So first we'll take a quick look at the app in action, which is to say it doesn't need to be in action to get in and drive the car. Note that the screen is dark, and much like other Teslas with key fobs, the mirrors extend when the phone is in proximity. This means it's unlocked. The car will be drivable as well without actually opening the app. But if you find yourself with a dead battery in your phone or without your phone, this key card will bail you out. Approach the card and place the card against the frames of the front and rear doors as shown. Again, the mirrors extend, welcoming you in. Once inside, the car is activated by centering the card just behind the cup holders. In the models S and X, we needed to get in front of the cup holders and near the 12 volt power source. In the Model 3, the 12 volt power is just behind the cup holders inside the center console, so it's likely that no location adjustment will be needed. And you're underway. Don't forget to charge your phone. For help with other keyless or push button start cars and key fobs from this or other manufacturers, look for more videos from us here on YouTube. Subscribe to this channel or go to dashboardsymbols.com.